Okay, this video is to show a newly draw version 2.0 installation on a 32-bit hardware laptop that also is running a 32-bit Windows 7 operating system. Just to prove this fact, I'm going to go to the computer here, start menu, right mouse click on computer, properties of that computer to show right here the system type is a 32-bit operating system. Now newly draw will install on 32-bit as well as 64-bit and run fine on either one of those. The problem with 64-bit is there are no 64-bit uh, drivers to communicate with the laser system. This is why a 32-bit operating system is required. So even though you can install this on a 64-bit computer and run newly draw, as long as you have the USB dongle, that's not a problem, but you can't send anything to the laser because there are no drivers for 64-bit hardware. Hence, 32-bit required. Okay, now that that's been shown, let's go here and we're going to download the file that I put online for this very reason to be able to have a clean installation. So let's go to uh, Checkmate Lasers. Ah, okay, and we'll do uh, it's docs slash download slash n s slash n d version two dot zip. Okay, and you can see down here the file is downloading. It asks you, uh, it's not commonly downloading, could be dangerous, blah, blah, blah. That's all nonsense. Just tell that you want to keep it. Now, I'm using Chrome here. Your Internet Explorer may not show this or Firefox, but you definitely want to keep the file. Okay. Now that it's downloaded, let's open up that folder, that file, excuse me. I'm going to close out the browser because we don't need that any longer. And I'm going to open up a new window of um, to download or unzip this zip file that we just included okay so what I'm gonna do is this setup file is the only thing we need okay the other two aren't necessary those are just for um, automatic auto run just allows this setup executable to file to, to launch automatically if this was on a CD and that's just the icon for the file so we don't need that we just need the setup.exe file so let's go ahead and close that folder and let's go ahead and double click on the setup.exe Okay. It's going to ask you, do you want to install this from an unknown publisher? Of course we do. Click yes. Going to close that out too. And now we're going to use the bottom left button to install, which is the bottom left button here. And that's going to install into that default folder on the C drive. Okay. You can see all the files that are being placed on the computer system. Okay. Once it's done, you may get this message that said this program might not have installed correctly. Uh, ignore this, uh, however that message comes up to you, because this program did install correctly, and we do want to say accept that and leave it as is. Okay, now I'm going to open up Newly Draw 2. Now, if this uh, zip file is corrupted, or if this laptop's corrupted, or are there are any viruses or malware, what have you, then I should get the same screen problems that I've heard of other people getting. Um, let's find out. Double click on that. Launch the application, create the environment. So far, the screen looks clean. Looking at the, the toolbar here, looking at the, the first static button bar and the dynamic bar. Let's click on this. All the selections are correct, no issues there. Let's go to the file menus. Okay, that all looks in English. No corruption, no issues at all with any one of those menus. Okay, now let's create a, just a simple file just to show this. I just created a square outline. I'm going to type in here. Uh, this is only a test, okay? And I want to zoom into this, so let's go into the 100%, uh, okay? And let's make that bigger. I'm going to make it black so I know that engraves. And I'm going to select both of these so I can center it to the center of the page. Just to show that, let's go to full page, center of page, okay? Now we can see that um, there is no issues with the software, with the screen interface, this typed out perfectly, didn't have any issues. Um, change the font to whatever I want. All the fonts are listed there that I have on this particular laptop. And I'll check another one. Okay, got Cooper Black there without issue. Uh, let's look at the menus again. Still intact, nothing corrupted, no issues at all. Now the reason why I'm showing all this is this laptop I commandeered from a customer of mine who's only had it for a few weeks and they don't have anything installed on here other than what's necessary to run their particular laser machine which is the King 130 watt. Now the smaller desktop series same system will run that as well if there was any viruses malware anything on this laptop then I should be getting the corruption that people keep telling me that this is occurring. This tells me that there's nothing wrong with the zip file. It has no viruses, has no issues with it. That file runs fine. I've proven that to you in this video. If a computer system is displaying corrupted menus or whatnot and not sending the laser, it's something on the computer, not newly draw, 
And until newly draw is corrected, there's no way to know if that's what's affecting the laser machine. All right, so that's the close of this video to show uh, newly draw version 2.0 installed on a clean installation on a 32-bit operating system, 32-bit hardware laptop, and installed perfectly, flawlessly, very straightforward, very simple to do, as well as going through all the menus to show no corrupted files whatsoever.